Toilet training is a huge milestone in your child's life, but one you should let your child indicate when he's ready to try. The first sign that it might be time is when your child stays dry for up to two hours and during nap times. Also, look for signs of body awareness. He'll show you he's uncomfortable in a dirty diaper and eventually tell you his diaper needs changing and possibly that he has to go to the bathroom. He should also have a large enough vocabulary to talk about basic bathroom functions. Motor skill developments go hand in hand with toilet training readiness. Your son should be able to walk, take clothes on and off, and get up and down from the toilet seat. These milestones are all signals that it's time to explain the process of using a potty. Talk about the feeling of having to go and encourage him to tell you when he has that feeling. Show him what pee and poop look like in the toilet bowl and have him watch you flush the toilet. He should learn from and imitate his dad's bathroom behaviors. Girls can learn from mom. Make things easier for him with either a step stool or training potty. Have your son get used to sitting on the potty, first with clothes on and then without. Associate used diapers with going to the bathroom by removing the diaper and putting your child immediately on the potty. And tell him, if you use the potty, then you won't go in your diapers. Next, you'll want to establish a routine. Take him to the potty for a few minutes at times that he'll likely have to go. In the morning, after eating, and before going to sleep. Praise your child for cooperating, whether anything happens or not, and don't force him to stay seated or to produce results. You can also take him to the toilet when he or his body language indicates he has to go. As he successfully uses the toilet and has fewer and fewer accidents, reduce the pre-planned trips and let him decide when to go on his own. Take a look at other videos in this series to learn about toddler behavior, discipline, and development.